What's up everyone? I'm here in Markham, Ontario, Canada and supposedly this is the new Chinatown of the Greater Toronto Area as explained to me by a viewer of mine in the subway. So I'm here to explore it. It's October 6, 2022, about quarter to 3 p.m. The temperature is 69 Fahrenheit, 21 Celsius. So this is where the bus dropped me off the number 53 bus at Steeles Avenue and Kennedy Road and I'm gonna go in there the Pacific Mall which is the largest shopping mall in North America that's Asian themed as you can see the Markham area is really centered around the automobile. It's not really an easy place to walk around. I had to grab that bus from the last stop on line one, the Finch station. Not even working. but I'm excited to what we could find here inside the Pacific Mall. Okay, let's head into the Pacific Mall now. Pretty big strip mall. I heard there's over 300 independent stores inside the Pacific Mall. I've heard many things about this shopping mall. Supposedly there's some good eats in here too. Let's go into this aisle and approach it from the middle. I think it will be a little bit more scenic that way. Definitely a very impressive looking building. So it looks like they close at 8 p.m. And uh, stepping inside this mall, immediately I smell a lot of food. 
I think uh, there may be a food court on the top floor. Let's see what we could find in here. Looks like uh, cell phone accessories. Rogers is here, which is the largest telecommunications company in Canada. I would imagine it's a lot more busy on the weekends. This stall is empty. Wow, this mall goes pretty deep inside. Here's a snack vendor. Definitely a lot of Asian themed snacks. Hair salon. It does remind me of like some other malls in Asia. There's a watch and jewelry store. It's like its own city in here, it never ends. You could easily get lost in here. How many aisles are in here? Like four or five maybe? Feng Shui Lucky Charms. I would have never have thought this would be in the Toronto region. Cell phone accessory store and repair. I guess the food section is on the top floor as I thought. You don't really see any food options here. I see a lot of uh, accessory vendors, cell phone companies, nail salons. There's a spa. There's several stalls that are empty, I'm noticing.
I've seen many of these claw machines in Asia. Wow, this is pretty cool. A whole store dedicated to exotic sweets. It smells so fragrant in there. It does look like they have a pretty large parking lot in the back in addition to the one in the front that we saw on the south side. Let's uh, make our way over to the food court now and the center of this Pacific Mall. It looks like over here is the central part of the mall. It's where the escalators are. There's a few uh, kids rise as well. And it looks like there's a good sized stage in the middle here. They probably use this for many events like Chinese New Year. And it's definitely very clean in here. Looks like the up escalator is that way. I do know that this mall is open every single day of the year. It never closes, but each of these booths are independently owned and operated. Wow, what is this over here? Here's a Asian goods store, the best shop. And Pacific Heritage Town. 
I think this might be the highlight of the mall. I really love the architecture here and it looks distinctively Chinese. The mall goes all the way back there as well. Arcade. Let's go inside the Pacific Heritage Town. This looks very intriguing. So far, I haven't really found the food section. I thought the second floor would have uh, the food court. This looks interesting. They have the egg. Egg treats that are famous in Hong Kong. I smell the egg uh, waffle treats from here. Vietnamese coffee. Oh, I see. Here's where all the food sections are. This is why I was smelling food on the first floor. Yummy ramen. It's a really nicely themed food court. Crepes. Here's Sun's Kitchen. Oh my goodness, this is a store that specializes in wontons and dumplings. It does really remind me of Asia in here. There's another stage there in the back. Pancake. And what do they have here? Kind of looks like uh, the Terracotta Warriors. It's like a replica of them here. Are these the real ones? Yeah, I think these are some of the real Terracotta Warriors here in the... Uh, Pacific Mall here in Canada. I can't believe it. And you know it's real because it says do not ride on the Terracotta Warriors fine of $5,000. So you don't want to be messing around with the Terracotta Warriors. It's not a reproduction. Bubble tea shop. It 
potato noodle soup. And there's a, another section of the Terracotta Warriors over here by the men's room. This has to be uh, one of the strangest locations to have the Terracotta Warriors guarding the men's room, but hey, they'll know uh, who's going in there that's not playing nice. Japanese Express restaurants. <laughs> Taiwan fried chicken. All right, let's uh, check out the rest of the second floor. And then maybe I'll stop by the food court and have something to eat. And I'll vlog it on my second channel, Action Kid Extra. Oh, that looks good. Scallion pancakes. I think the location of their food court is very good because they have it right at the entrance where you smell everything. Elevators. This seems to be a electronic store, Cyber City. I wonder what we'll find on this section of the mall. It does look like there's less aisles on the second floor, mainly just one aisle straight down. This uh, Korean restaurant, Agzita, closed up. Seems to be a really nice hair salon, GZ. Looks like they're closed. Wonder if they're closed on certain t uh, days of the week or what.
first floor is doing a lot better than the second floor over here. This looks neat over here. All right, well, that will conclude my tour of the largest Asian themed mall in North America. I was really impressed with the Pacific Mall. There's certainly a lot to see here. The Pacific Heritage uh, area over there is my favorite part of this mall and it has a lot of the food options that I'd be interested in trying right now. But if you enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Laters.